Good morning, people. Good weekend. I thought, why not record the weekend reading today? So, your yesterday. So that it can go out a little bit earlier. Now that this is the weekend reading, and now that the energy of the new moon is still upon us, it's still going to force us to start the new because it's a new moon it does carry the energy of manifestation so it makes sense focus on our manifestations what we want to manifest and when i tapped into the energy of the weekend one thing that did come out was this energy of the monkey brain that we have to quiet down the monkey brain in the weekends there is a lot of chatter, I feel. Chatter that is confusing. Chatter that carries low energy. And it is chatter from the past or from the future. It's just this energy that keeps us stuck in actually focusing on what can I do in the here and now. How do I fool? 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 Wow! Wow! <laughs> The words how do I feel in the here and now and we are in need of stepping out of this mind chatter because it can really cause a lot of problems for us and as we know 2024 is the year where we are stepping into the new so the monkey brain actually doesn't belong at all so I do want to say for this weekend Take steps outside your mind. Tap into your heart. Really ask yourself. Tap into your throat chakra. Be quiet for a moment and ask yourself, what is it that you want to say? What is it that you want me to feel today? Oh, you can actually do that. Thank you, spirit. Ask the throat chakra first. Ask, what is it that you want me to say? Then move your hand to the heart and ask, what is it that you want me to feel? And then <laughs> you can put both your hands on your head and be like, what is it that you want me to do? And then you release the energy. Up, you do a stretch. You can shake the old energy off and then you're ready for your, for your day, for the weekend. I feel also for this weekend it would be very good for you, especially with what I just showed you, to have a note block, a note block, <laughs> a notepad or a journal, whatever it is, and write things down. Things that comes to you, not things that you want to let go because we shouldn't focus on that. Write down things that comes to you. Again, you are going beyond the mind in this weekend. And if there's something I have realized actually with these readings, it is. And it, ex it, it actually started yesterday, today, because it's the same day that I record this, that I want these daily messages, these daily readings, to be more than just tarot readings. I want to chit-chat with you guys. I want to point out things that I feel, things that we're opening up for, or maybe things that we're letting go of. So it's not always going to be about the tarot. Obviously, we are going to put that into the, the occasion. But I also just want to, you know... Whatever comes out, whatever I want to speak with you guys about, open, open, <laughs> open you guys up for new things. So let me know how you feel about that, because I feel like I really started doing that in yesterday's messages, a message, reading, video. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because I feel like we all, especially if you are a tarot reader or oracle e reader, <laughs> oracle eater. <laughs> You are actually being asked to again step <coughs> step beyond the mind to use tarot, but not focus too much about like what is the meaning of the <laughs> the page of swords, but try to read cards without the cards with your energy, with your feelings, and then put the cards into what it is that you already feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, with that being said, I actually was guided to use this today. We haven't used that for a while. 
heart and soul, which actually I feel fits perfectly together with the message today, which, um, first of all, going beyond the mind, but also listening to our hearts. Because sometimes it can be very, very confusing to actually do that. We have two cards here. First, we have this one. Um, and it does say, do not give in to fear and doubt. Courage is called for now. Face your fear. <laughs> Again, maybe some of you guys went did this practice. Maybe there was something coming up where you were like, ooh, do I have to look deeper into that? Do I have to let that go? Whatever it is. Also, one other thing that I want to point out is dreams. Dreams will be extremely crazy. You will have snap dreams. You will have many dreams at the same time and you will be like, why is this happening? <laughs> You'll be very confused probably about how much you are actually dreaming. But in each dream and in each character in the dream, there is a specific story, storyline. So again, write it down. Look at things objectively. You are safe and all is well. Fill your fear with love. There you go. Beyond fear, love is guiding you. Urging you to break free, you will succeed. And yes, you will succeed. How do you feel when I say that to you? That you will succeed? You should feel um, excited, but I also heard some of you guys feel anxious because you might feel like, ooh, that's a pressure point. Um, <laughs> That was the first call. Well, I will call her back in a second. Yeah. You might feel a little anxious or a little fearful when I said that. Because that you might feel like, now I need to do something. Now I need to do this or that. Or face my fears. Yeah. I know. It is scary, but you can do it. The other one, the last one, is this one. Look at the star. We have, you are currently too close to see, too close to see clearly. Ha! Huh. Detach a little and you will start to see things from a higher perspective. By emotionally detaching from this situation, a simple, solu a simple solution also becomes clearer. I actually don't think we have gotten this before. So, again, it comes down to what we spoke about earlier with this energy of... The chit chat, the chit chat <laughs> from the past and the future. So you're too close. So just be in the moment, the here and now. Last card, last card, spirit. What is it that we need to know for the weekend? Well, there you go. Five of Swords, definitely. Only take what you need. Only take what you need. And don't be afraid of the thunder because again, you are letting go of what's not yours. You're letting go of the chatter, the chit chatter from the past and the future. And you are letting the universe take over. Empress, we got Empress yesterday. So again, in the here and now, wow. In the here and now, everything is being, everything is possible. And then we have the Seven of Cups. So in this weekend, something will become very, very clear. And it makes sense why you got this because you need to maybe step away and be like okay whatever felt scary whatever i need to look a little a little bit closer at actually brings back the hope and the joy that i once felt so you actually get something from digging a little bit deeper and also after a storm comes the sun and the fresh air and again it's what we have been waiting for, right? So, a deep dive in the weekend will be good for you. I can't wait to hear your take on what we spoke about today. And I hope you will have a good weekend. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.